All right, we're here game day with Baker University head women's basketball coach Ben Lister. Coach, you guys accomplished your goal last week. You went 3-0 uh, through a tough stretch of the heart. You had games Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. Um, you know, talk about last week and, and what you were you're pleased with with your team. Uh, yeah, first of all, I'm pleased that we got three wins. Um, two of those were on the road, and uh, I thought we really, uh, towards the end of the week, uh, found some identity uh, playing without uh, Caitlin. Um, offensively, I thought we found a better rhythm defensively. Um, I, I didn't think we were real impressive against Peru on Thursday and uh, were able to survive. Sometimes you have to do that, sometimes you just don't play well. Um, and and we, just, we didn't have good intensity, we didn't show up. I thought we practiced really well Friday and uh, maybe played our most complete half of basketball the second half against Grandview, both ends of the floor. Um, I thought we did a really good job. Uh, handling the week with three games, uh, five games overall in about a, a little over a week span. So it's a tough stretch for everybody in the conference. And, uh, you know, to get out of that three and two, um, you know, obviously with making some adjustments, um, you know, it is probably not exactly what we wanted, but uh, we'll take it. We have to move forward. Uh, we've got a big week in front of us this week. I think we've made some good adjustments uh, as a team to just figuring out some things on the floor uh, without Caitlin playing, and uh, hopefully we can continue to translate those uh, this week against two of our, our, our big rivals uh, that are top 15 teams in the country. Yeah, it is, you know, Bill, as a, a rivalry week. You've got the number 11 ranked team in the country, Benedictine, coming here tonight. And then you'll go on the road to Mid America on Saturday, who's number eight ranked. Um, let's let's first talk about Benedictine. You know, a big t uh, three point shooting team. I know they're tops in the country in, in attempts and and things like that. You know, how do you hope to um, you know defend that and, and, and come out with a win? Well, yeah, I think the, the key start for them is to start with uh, with getting out there and really guarding outside the three point line. Um, they move extremely well without the basketball. I think they're as as good as any team in our conference. Maybe the best team in. Um, running their offense. I think they're excellent at floor spacing. Um, I think they're excellent at their timing in their offense. Um, and they make great reads. They have smart players that uh, take advantage of uh, any mistakes that you make. Um, you just have to be sound com completely from you know the start of the game to the end of the game because they're not going to beat themselves. So, uh, yeah, I think they're number two in the country and three-point field goals made per game. Um, so they're going to shoot it out there, and we know that. And, and we've known that about them the last couple of years. And if you can get out and defend a three-point line, um, you know, you can give yourself a chance to be successful. And then you also have to be able to rebound and finish plays. Uh, they're a better rebounding team this year than they have been the last couple of years, and, and that's going to be a priority for us as well. The other thing they do well is that with Shayla Rutledge, who's the returning player of the year, uh, you know, she can really stretch defenses and makes your five uh, have to get out and guard a little bit on the perimeter. So that's something we have to adjust to. I think Macy did a really nice job the last two games we played last year against her. Hopefully we can keep up the intensity in guarding her. But uh, it's going to be 40 minutes of two really good basketball teams. I know that uh, we have a lot of respect for them. Um, I know that they're one of the teams that we continue to have to fight with uh, year in, year out to uh, you know, kind of be in that top half of the conference because they're going to be there. Um, and, and we need to beat a good basketball team. So. Um, we're going to have our hands full. We're going to really have to get out and guard. We're going to have to take care of the basketball. Um, we're going to have to match their intensity right away. Uh, they're a team that really plays well early in games, and we need to make sure that we don't dig ourselves a hole. Uh, but I think our girls are motivated. I think we played really well last week for the most part, and uh, hopefully we can ride that momentum into uh, tomorrow tonight. You know, it was back on November 21st. You took on Mid-America almost two months ago. Um, now you'll you know, hop on to the second part of the heart schedule on Saturday. Um, you know, talk about that, that first matchup with Mid-American and, and what you hope to, you know, move on from from that game and, and try and get a road win Saturday. Yeah, it's crazy to think it's been two months. Uh, it doesn't seem like that long ago, and then at, then at times it does seem like that long ago. Uh, you, you were looking at two teams, I think, at that point in the year that were still finding their own identities. Um, you know, it was an early season conference game. We lost by three. Um, we had 27 turnovers and didn't take care of the basketball. And uh, I'm not sure we deserve to only lose by three with 27 turnovers. But, uh, you know, I think you're going to see two different teams than what we were a couple months ago. Um, and it's going to be maybe a different flow to the game. Um, but, uh, you know, Mid-America is, again, a team that's used to winning. Um, they have a tremendous home record. Uh, they don't beat themselves. Um, you know, they've got, they've got smart playmakers. They've got an excellent point guard. Um, they've got athletes. Um, at every position, so you have to play uh, at your highest level, and obviously to go over and have a chance to beat them as well. Now, I think that we have the talent to match up with both of these teams. Uh, I don't think we feel like we're inferior. 
Um, but you have to play good basketball to beat them. And Mid America is going to be another challenge for us to do that on Saturday. So it's going to be an intense week and focused week. Uh, you know, we're all three uh, competing to uh, stay in that that conference race and try to win the conference. Um, we're all in the top half of the league within one or two games of each other in the conference race. So that makes it even more fun. You're talking about three teams that have at least 13 wins or more for each of us. Um, so that means you got good basketball players out there. Uh, and sometimes in these games, it really comes down to two players making plays. Kids stepping up and uh, making plays in critical situations, and uh, these are why why kids love to play. These are the big games that you love to play in and uh, measure yourself against. And uh, we're ready to uh, show what we're capable of in these next couple of games. Well, thank you, Coach. Good luck this week during Rivalry Week. Thank you.